sucking up. You immediately ignore this useless co-worker and turn up a smiling face for, ta-da, here comes the boss. Don't forget to ask his wife, what the hell was her stupid name again? Is feeling any better? Quick now, look eager, right? That's the way for a budding, would-be successful middle manager. Tack up that latest memo she wrote right beside your nodding head in that neat little cubicle. Should I use my simpering grin or the hearty laugh to ingratiate myself to him this time? Smile and say hello, act interested, and try to remember their whatever drivel from yesterday. Straighten up and suck it in so she can palpate your great respect by imperious glance alone. Pop your head up with a hearty greeting, you self-centered shoulder climber. You need this job. Actually, I'd be very interested in your take on this market situation, if you wouldn't mind. Oh yes, I got that email, and my people are already on it, even as we speak. You know, I can really see the sense in this shared vision thing that you guys put together. Gosh, it always seems like you're already busy when I get in and still hard at it when I leave. Focus in, prick up those ears, and really act like you are just full of the most rapt attention. Ask that question you thought up last night that you know will start him to smilingly strut and hold forth. Hmm, where should I sit in this meeting room to optimally display my completely abject support? Just keep in mind that your real work here is to cultivate relationships with those in charge. I'm not here to make waves, so I appreciate any personal advice you might be able to share. How's your golf game going with that new set of woods you were telling us about? That was really funny when you were talking to that new salesman the other day. If you have a minute, I have a quick question about our new strategy going forward. Don't you dare show your anger when she suddenly dismissively waves you off again to talk to her ignorant children. Got to find something similar to those hideously tasteless shoes she's always wearing. Stay aware that keeping his project schedule updated is more important than any real work you might do. Suck up by telling her that you're facing a tough issue and that you could really use her input. Sometimes I just feel overwhelmed. How do you always manage your time so effectively? But remain ever ready to scuttle beneath new leaders should office politics suddenly change. Keep hoping the real bosses might remember your name from their 30,000 foot overview level. Unconsciously you know when to switch screens and drop your cell call because she's walking by. Silently leave your co-workers hanging out alone should they dare to raise some contentious issue. Don't ever mention any of the layoffs, failed projects, stalled initiatives, or discarded objectives. Portray yourself to be as trusting and energetic as a good child and as loyal as a lovable pet dog. Offhandedly mention work stuff that happened really early, late at night, or on the weekends. Always be ready to grab credit from some contractor or to shift blame to a grumpy old employee. Be sure that they are aware you are so eager to move up, but only if you their wise mentoring. At every opportunity, make it appear as if you are sacrificing your personal life for their vanity. Be that un-Jewish sick sycophant, even as you kick down with killer sociopathic focus, and you will go far.